What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about what can go wrong with PV SRE analysis. So check it out. Okay, so here I have my euro dollar pair on the one minute chart. And uh, the reason I took this trade, uh, first of all, it was a bearish trade that I took. And what happened was that for the past two hours, as you can see, I have my hourly uh, candle plotted on the background of my one minute chart. So here I have one hour and here I have the next hour. So for the last two hours, the price has been on a bearish trend. And I thought that once it broke here, it broke the 233 EMA. The 233 EMA is this uh, a little bit thick uh, yellow line that you can see. So once it broke it with uh, two uh, red candles, I thought that the move would continue to be bearish from, from uh, this time. But what happened is that it made a correction. And because of this correction, my stop loss was hit here. And I lost, uh, as you guys can see, I lost 5.2 pips. Not much money. But then when I think about it, it was all my mistake because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the whole trend of the move. So the whole trend was not really bearish, was it? Because for the last two hours, it was bearish. But before that, there was a huge move with this huge bullish candle that pushed the price from the half level here, which was 1.12500 was the half level. So the price, the rally started at this half level and pushed the price all the way up to here. So when I think about it now, I wouldn't have taken this trade because of this bullish move that was huge. And once I look at, um, I also took a look uh, at the 15 minute chart. It wasn't, like, wasn't giving me any good uh, clues at that time. So it was a really like silly mistake of mine, <laughs> but like as people say, oh, once like sometimes sometimes you learn, sometimes you win, and the times when you don't win, you learn. So that was a lesson that I learned. And let's take a look at the next chart. So just to show you guys that many things can go wrong, but most of the time those things are predictable. So. And people make mistakes, like I make mistakes all the time. This is the second chart. And uh, this was, uh, yeah, this was, I wouldn't say that this was really my mistake, but uh, you guys can see the Euro dollar chart on the one minute uh, time frame. And I have here a huge rally that pushed the price all the way up. And then price started to make a correction. And once it failed to break this, uh, support of the 233 MA I should have placed the trade somewhere here but I didn't I, I waited for a moment and they made this all pushed up and they made another correction another push up made a correction and started to make another push up I entered here because I thought that they got this uh, green candle price went back and failed to break the dragon the dragon downwards and I thought the price would still continue on a bullish trend but then what happened is that it hit my stop loss unfortunately here and I lost 5 pips now could this have been prevented and I think this is you know you know guys like I always think that at some point this would come back to the 233 EMA. So, and once it did here, actually this was, uh, well, now that you can see what happened, you could have said, oh, this was the best time to go bullish. And, and I think so too, when I look at the chart now. But that time, I really don't know why I didn't enter here. Maybe, 
Maybe because these didn't bounce back with another green candle. Maybe because of that, I'm not sure. But I really don't remember why I didn't enter the trade here. And uh, so once this failed to break, uh, so we failed to break, bounce back to the 233 MA here. Also failed to bounce back to the 233 EMA here. So I would actually assume that this at some point, at some time, would try to bounce all the way back to the 233 again. And uh, I was so silly to have opened that trade here. But then, would I, would I make this kind of mistake again? That's the question, right? So every time you make a mistake, you want to make sure that in the future, you have, uh, well, at least you have a clue not to make it again and avoid it. Mm, but when I look at it, I'm not really sure. Because, you know, once, yeah, so I was correct in one thing, in spotting the whole trend of the move, which was definitely bullish. Why? I have one hour, two hours, three hours. For the last three hours, it was on a bullish trend. And here, although it wasn't, it was bearish, but this was a, a very minor correction. So you can ignore this, okay? Well, a very minor correction here. And the, the previous one was also on a bullish, uh, was a bullish candle. So you can say that from here, although I had a small correction here, but you can say from uh, this time until this time, it was on a bullish trend. Like no question about that. It was definitely on a bullish trend. So it was really, you, you can say that maybe my stop loss was too tight, but that's how I used to place my stop, uh, stop loss at that time. So maybe it was too tight. Maybe I should have opened a space for the price to do a, like a much bigger correction, but I didn't. So, well, but that, that's how I trade. That's how I put my stop loss. And well, it can be right all the time. So this is something that maybe I wouldn't be able to have avoided, but who knows? Let's take a look at uh, the next chart. And this one is very interesting because uh, this was on a, definitely on a bullish trend, definitely a bullish trend, although it had a very small correction here. And here I thought it would go up again why I was being based on the zigzag pattern. So I have this bullish uh, trend here, push the price up, so made a zig, zag, and would do a zig again. That's what I thought, but then I was stopped once again because of my stop loss, and I lost uh, six pips, like 5.9, like almost six pips. This is another thing that probably I wouldn't have been able to prevent it because I, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, this would be, and I remember that once it bounced back all the way to the 233 MA, it, it started to go on a bullish trend again. So this was actually just a correction. And uh, well, this is another, tra uh, another trend, a trade that I wouldn't have been able to predict that would go against me. So this is, I consider this as one more uh, loss. It was not really a, it was not really a like entry price mistake. I don't think so. I think it was a good time to enter. I just wouldn't, I, I wasn't being able to predict that this would bounce back all the way to this point. Uh, or maybe I would because, yeah. So, you know, guys, uh, one thing that I always think about is when price will get back to the 233. I always think about that. And then, as you can see, this was the last time that price bounced back to the 233, right? Because here it didn't. It failed. And, and then failed all the time up to here. And then here, it, it actually after this, what happened, it bounced back to the 233 and then continued the move uh, bullish again. So it went up again. Um, so this may be I could have prevented if I think about 
these, uh, well, if I think of in this way that price must bounce back at a certain time, back to the 233 EMA, uh, if it haven't bounced back for a long time. Uh, let's take a look at the next chart. Okay, so this one, okay, this one I didn't actually lose money. I think I lost like 0 0.1 pips or, or zero. <laughs> I forgot, maybe 0 0.1 pip. And uh, this happens because price was not moving anywhere. I thought, so we're, we were definitely on a, on a bearish trend here. And you can see that a lot of times PA failed to break the dragon upwards. Okay, so it was trying to go upwards uh, here, it failed. Then try to go upwards here. It kind of failed, like, well, you can say it broke, but not much, so it kind of failed. And here as well, failed to break it again. So this was definitely on a bearish trend, but it wasn't moving as much, well, as fast as I expected. So I was getting bored and I closed the, I closed the trend, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is something that, well, if the market is not moving as much or as fast as you want it, I would suggest to close it. <laughs> especially in this uh, kind of uh, style which is scalping so we are we're talking about a one minute chart guys so we're not talking about the h1 or h4 or the daily chart we're talking about H uh, m1 here so m1 is definitely a scalping strategy and if it's not moving for a while you better uh, close it and I remember that after this, price, uh, price actually went up. So I did the right thing. Uh, let's take a look at the next chart. So this one is the, uh, oh, it's the dollar CAD. Okay, so USD, CAD, dollar CAD on the one minute chart. Uh, here, I really don't know. Uh, I could say yes. So what the main reason may be because of the trend. So it was not really a bearish trend. But what happened is that I have, okay, I have two bullish candles. One huge uh, red candle here on the hourly chart. And price broke with one, two, three red candles. Although they are not consecutive candles, but they are three Red candles that broke all the uh, structure on the left. So it broke the previous high here. Here was the lowest point, and it broke the lowest point here. Made a correction. I thought after the correction, price would continue to go down, but the correction was much bigger than I expected. So it hit my stop loss here. I lost 5.4 pips. Uh, would this kind of mistake have been uh, avoided? If I think, if I look at the chart now, maybe yes, I could have, I could have avoided because this, when I look at the overall trend, the overall trend was not bearish. So it could have been avoided. Let's take a look at the next chart. So chart, this, uh, chart, uh, chart number six, I have here Euro dollar pair on the one minute chart. And uh, this is the theory, once again, the theory uh, of the lower tops with a uh, notable volume. So I have the tops becoming colored and the, uh, and they have uh, lower tops with uh, uh, lower tops with high volume so it shows me a bearish trend is about to happen and uh, <laughs> yeah so this is this is something that I would have been able to avoid it now right now I would because now I know that this doesn't mean that price will continue to go uh, down neither up and, and the thing is here I went bullish, so I placed a buy position expecting it would go up, but it continued to go down. And when I look at it, it's because of this, the theory of the lower tops with high volume. 
you have lower tops with notable volume here, it tells you that price may go down. But then why did they buy here? Why did they open a buy position here? It's because price failed to break the 233 EMA with a red candle and notable volume. And for the last one and two hours, it was on a bullish trend, made a small cor correction here, and here I thought the price would continue to go bullish. And, and then I opened the trade here, got stopped here, lost 5.1 pips. So if it happened now, I wouldn't have taken this trade. I would have waited to see what would happen here. Um, let's take a look at the next chart. So this is the last one, guys. So the last chart I have here is, uh, whoops, it's really small. Oh, okay, now it became bigger. So it's a dollar yen chart uh, on the one minute time frame. And uh, here's another thing that I would be able to avoid it now, because the overall trend is not really bearish. I thought it would be bearish because it broke with two consecutive red candles that broke the 200 uh, EMA. So here, I, I think this was a, an old one because before I didn't use to use the 233 EMA. I just used to use the 200 EMA, which is this dotted uh, yellow line. So once it broke with two consecutive candles with notable volume and broke here, 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 and here, also broke here with uh, so broke all these uh, last lows, okay? Broke all the last lows with uh, notable volume and a huge candle. And then made the retracement back to the dragon or, or, or at least close to the dragon. And I thought from here, price would continue to go down. I was wrong and I lost five pips. Could this have been avoided? Yes. Definitely. Why? Because this is not really a bearish trend. So for the last two hours, it was on a bullish trend. Here, probably small correction. And here would go bullish again. So yes, this was definitely my mistake. Okay, guys. So this is a reveal uh, of all my mistakes in the past. In the past, I would say, what, one, six months? <laughs> I don't remember, but like uh, for my past, like let's say my past seven mistakes. And uh, so now you know, guys, it's a lot of things can go wrong with PVS area, but most of them could have been prevented, as you saw with my explanation. And I wish you guys a good weekend. If you guys have any uh, questions, please write to me on the comment section below. Thank you and see you on my next video. Goodbye.